Hey there guys, it's Nina here. Hope everything is good, good, good. Because everything is not good for me. Everything is literally just like all over the place. All over the place. First of all, my hair just looks an absolute mess. But I just wanted to film. I've been at work all day, so my face just looks crusty. And yeah, just everything is generally, genuinely, no, generally quite crusty about me. Ugh, that word. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. If you've watched my last couple videos, which were quite a long time ago since I've not filmed recently, uh, but if you do follow me on social media, on Twitter or Instagram at Nana Trainer or on Snapchat Nana K, you might know that I am head over heels conscripted, fully assigned military member of the BTS army, and I pretty much am there. I'm like completely like gone. I'm shook. I'm jam shook. I'm like just a hundred percent in there, full on hardcore bias stan everything. Oh, my hair's really annoying me. <laughs> Why did I decide to leave my hair out? Oh, I've decided to go wigless. To be honest, I did have a wig, but BTS just snatched it off my head. Snatched. But this time last week, I was just living my life as a completely normal, sane person. I mean, as sane as you can be for a 26-year-old completely obsessed with a band that's speaking language that you completely don't understand and they live on the other side of the world and they've never even entered your country once in their entire lives or your entire lives and you haven't even been foot in the same country before and you've never even met them and like it doesn't even like, make sense that you love them but you absolutely love them. But yeah, I was just having an average week. The number one reason why my week changed was that BTS announced that they're releasing a new album. I was not ready. The thing about BTS is that they don't allow you to be ready when they want to announce these things. They literally just like look at their clock, they're like, you know, it's been a while since we've ruined some people's lives, so let's just throw out an album announcement on Twitter, you know, because why not? And yeah, I was not ready. I was shooketh to the choreth. So the album release, Love Yourself Tear, was like the first nail in my coffin before I was put six feet under and forgotten about for the rest of humanity and history. Um, but yeah, that was number one. Number two was the fact that if anyone is into K-pop or if you're a massive BTS fan and you've just done your research on how K-pop works, K-pop works in a way that when you are having a comeback so uh, let me just have a little mini K-pop lesson for anyone who doesn't know. But a comeback is essentially every time you release a new single. So in like Western music, you just have like a new single. You just that's what you call it. So and so is releasing their new single before they release their album. Whereas in K-pop, every song you release is a comeback. In K-pop, whenever you have a comeback, um, you perform on Korean music shows. So there's loads of music shows, but it's like always on Korean TV, like always. Now, BTS decide, decide to rewrite history and rewrite the rules of K-pop. And they decided that they are gonna perform their brand new single, brand new comeback song at the Billboard Music Awards in Las Vegas, America, USA, on May 20th. <sighs> Let me just tell you about that final nail in my coffin. So keep in mind, I've got a couple nails in my coffin right now. BTS uh, announced that they're releasing a new album and their song is coming out soon. Their next song, which we don't know the name of yet, but I'm excited, obviously. And then they're performing it at the Billboard Music Awards in America, world exclusive first live performance. <sighs> so obviously it's going to be huge. Um, another thing happened, number three thing that happened that was like, third strike, you're out Nana, goodbye, it was nice knowing you, sayonara, annyeong, goodbye. Basically, <laughs> I can't even believe that this is real life. But the third thing is that I was just minding my own business at work today when I go on my break and I check my phone and I have a notification from Big Hit. And this tweet says, love yourself, tour teaser poster. A what? A who? A where? A tour? So I was like, obviously, this is a joke. This is not real. 
let me just click on whatever picture they've attached to this because clearly Ashton Kutcher's about to jump out any second now and tell me I'm being punked because they did not just release a world tour under my nose and rip my wig off for the final time. So yes, of course, I click on the photo. I'm looking and I'm like, wow, BTS really are going on tour. Oh, I'm gonna be a shame that I can't see them since they don't know that Europe exists. And then I look a little harder. London? London? It's been hours and I'm still not recovered. I was close to going to the opticians to make sure that my eyesight was correct because I could not believe that the words London, BTS and tour were all on the same page. <sighs> that was the final, the end of me when I saw that BTS are coming to my home city, London, for the first time. They've never even been to the UK, so I genuinely don't know if this is real life. But guys, obviously I don't have tickets yet, they're not out yet, but I'm gonna get tickets, like, I promise you guys, I'm gonna get tickets. And that means I'm gonna see BTS, finally. Yeah, so at this point I had one strand of hair left on my wig and no, uh, they ripped that strand out and they were like, Nana, you shall be bold, except in Korean, um, obviously. And yeah, that was it. That was how I died, but then got resurrected because I will be alive again for tour. So yes. Guys, do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? This means tour vlogs. What the heck? Has that been in the video this whole, this whole time? So yes, 100% I'm gonna see them. Like, I'm gonna, I'm praying to every god, every god that I get tickets to see them. But if I do, obviously I'm gonna vlog. And I'm really hoping to do more than one show. So here are my BTS plans for anyone else that's a fan. Uh, hopefully we can meet up and talk and hopefully I might see you at the shows if we all get tickets. I'm scared it's going to be like the Hunger Games. So my plans are obviously to do both London shows because I can't only go to one. Because if I see them it's probably going to be the only time in my life that I'll ever see them. So I need to do both shows. So both London shows and hopefully Amsterdam and Paris. Hopefully. Paris is actually the day before my birthday. So I kind of have to go. Wait is it Paris or Amsterdam? Oh yeah, Paris, the last Paris show is the day before my birthday and the Amsterdam show is Jimin's birthday so it's gonna be, I like have to get tickets, have to get tickets, like it's not even funny, I need to see them. Essentially that's all I wanted to sit down and talk to you about. Um, may Naina Trainer rest in peace because she is gone, forget about her guys, forget about her. But yeah, BTS have snatched my soul and I can't wait to spend every penny of money that I make on BTS. So I will not eat for the next six months. I will not leave my house for the next six months. Well, actually I need to leave my house because I have a job. I need to eat or else I'll die. But anyway, I'm gonna do everything, everything. I'll get five more jobs until I can afford to buy as many BTS tickets as humanly possible so that I can see them as many times as I physically can. <sighs> Pray for me guys, pray for me. V and Sugar are my biases, let me know yours um, and I will see you in my next video. So thanks so much for watching me ramble about Bangtan. Bye.